Welcome back to the shop, guys. Today I wanted to create something that was a little bit more fun, a little bit whimsical, while still using something that had meaning. So I sourced these four books from a local resale store, and I sourced these other four hooks from just around the shop, other projects that I had. And then I used a piece of tongue and groove that I had left over. I then cut this tongue and groove to twice the length of what the books would be at their final dimension. I then took that board and split it directly down the center. And then again, those two boards in half. Now, what I would be left with is four pieces two tongues and two grooves at the exact size of the four books in their final dimension. Now this allowed me to use the tongue and groove that was put in place by the factory to slide together. I then removed about an inch on either side with my table saw. I then went ahead and glued the two tongues together to create a double tongue and placed the two grooved sides that I have cut next to it to create a perfect channel. I then spaced out three mounting holes on the back of this center board. I tapped them with a drill bit the same size as the screw I'll be using and then countersunk so that the head of the screw will not protrude. After this was done, I then flipped over and made sure I had a great placement for all of my books. I made note of where I felt was the best place to place screws in the back of these books and quickly prepped a hole. I did not glue these books together. I was very happy with the final product. I don't plan to put a lot of weight on this book hook but you can certainly explore gluing these pages together or using some sort of epoxy to make it a little more of a rigid design. And you can see we had a bit of a struggle for just a moment, being that these are repurposed boards, that was totally normal. I was able to get it out, clean up the edge a bit with some sandpaper, and the final product is a smooth, easy sliding, but strong tongue and groove. then made sure I placed my hooks where I thought they looked best and put one screw in each hook so that I could kind of tweak the hooks so that they weren't exactly straight and that they kind of matched the whimsical look that I was going for. Once I had this one screw in on either side, I twisted them, messed with them, and then mounted them with the second screw. After I attached the hooks, I pulled out a paintbrush 
and a little bit of black paint and just touched up the heads on each one of these screws. I didn't have any black screws. All I had were gray. So I wanted to make sure that this little bit extra detail was taken care of. As the project came to a close, I was really excited with what I'd created. I wasn't too sure coming into this project exactly how I would achieve the design on the back. I had only seen one other image I was using as a reference, but I knew the idea of books as a medium was something I wanted to work with. Looking around and finding this tongue and groove to use, I think was the absolute perfect choice. Hey guys, thanks for watching the whole video. If you would, don't forget, please drop a like, drop a comment below, and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos we have coming this year.